Fort is with us now with some details on the royal visit. And Emma, it's a pleasure to have you with us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. So you've been watching and so far you say so far so good. I think it's been pretty amazing actually. I think, you know, I think President Trump has bought the most family a president has ever bought with him. Okay. They've all done him proud. I think the Queen looks super happy. I thought the banquet last night was incredible. It took three days to, to set that table. We're not talking any normal dinner party right. you know it's 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 proper english pomp and circumstance she had a, a menu that was a, a real tribute what to british food menu, it was lamb english lamb it was strawberries because she knew that president trump loved has a sweet tooth mm. and i think it's been very well thought out well the, the president has had this fascination with the royal family because his mother is from scotland or yeah. was from scotland and so he has a real admiration for the queen yes I and think i think that has, showed i think it shows i think it's been super respectful there was a there was a little photograph yesterday and it vaguely looked like he was fist pumping her instead of shaking her what hand. What happened? Really? What? Are <laughs> you kidding me? It says, I think it could have been just a slightly bad photograph, but okay. it just slightly looked like his hand was going in more like that. I think somebody okay. clicked the camera before he'd done that. Okay. Right. But, but other than that, I and think it's, it's just been, uh, you know, I think it's just been really nice to see them together and they look happy and smiling and... That's great. Can we talk fashion? Because I always like to well, talk fashion, fashion. I love the fact that Melania, who I always think is is incredible with her fashion, mm -hmm. but she wore Burberry when she got off the plane. And I thought that was, you know, it's a nice nod to British fashion. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a chic and cool thing to that do. That was the white that she had the, the on? blue oh, no, when that she was came. Dolce and Gabbana. Yes. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. And so, then she wore Dolce and Gabbana. And afterwards. she wore Dolce and Gabbana. She's worn Dior. She's worn some, you know, pretty amazing. And Ivanka always looks incredible. What did Ivanka have on? She it? had on last night this incredible Carolina Herrera. Dress. I I thought this it was very beautiful. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it was very, very British. It was floral. It was beautiful. There was an interesting photograph um, when the president and the queen were in front of the, the guards. And you could see up on a balcony through a window Jared Kushner yes. and uh, Ivanka. And it was a kind of eerie look. Did you notice I, that? I saw that. And that where they're standing is this huge, long corridor. It's like okay. a, it's, it's, a, it's a massive corridor. And I, I, saw, I saw that too. And I thought, but it must have been such a moment for them. Right. Because Buckingham Palace is just, it is so impressive. And if you're, you know, if you're, if you're an American and you come to that, it does slightly blow your mind. So yes. I'm sure they were looking. It was a real look of like, wow. Yeah, so let yeah. me ask you something. You, you mentioned that it was the, the most that I, I guess a president uh, has ever brought to yes. Buckingham Palace. Is there a number that uh, they're allowed to bring not, as, as far not, as yes, guests? No, I don't think there's a, there's a number per se. Okay. I think it's just that it is, he has brought a big number with him and I think that's, that's he's probably the first to have brought that many um, because I think Obama had Michelle and the, and the, and the children. And two and children. Mm -hmm. his, I think Michelle's mother came. Yes. mother-in-law. But you know, he's got uh -huh. all his kids, their, right. you know, respective partners, Lara, pregnant. There's a whole, it's a, it's a proper family scene and I think that's, that's nice. Are we making, in America, making a bigger deal out of the nasty comment about Meghan Markle? Is it as being talked about as much in the UK? I, I think maybe, we, you know, again, you know what it's like. I, I mean, I'm not a political correspondent, but these words get picked up on and out of context. And I think potentially that that I, I don't believe that that's probably a comment. If it was made, I suspect it was made in a kind of slightly right. haphazard fashion. Mm. I don't think England are making as big a deal of it. Harry was there in, in the afternoon. Was he there wasn't a, a, He um, was talking to Ivanka. There are pictures of him looking happy and talking to Ivanka. I, I honestly believe that the reason Meghan isn't there and she's at, she has literally just given birth. Right, right. it's not right. even a month. It's right. not even a month. And yeah. if it was anybody else that wasn't in the royal family, we would never expect her to see her out. I mean, would you be at something a month right, after? No. It's, 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 you know, so I think sometimes we read into that. I think she's on maternity leave. He's trying to be the modern father and be there a lot. So I haven't read as much into Can that. Can we talk about the Queen's bag? We didn't realize <laughs> that it signals things to her people. You yeah. know, I was always curious what she actually carries in the bag. I know. I think everybody has always wanted to know what she carries Do in the bag. Do we know? I don't think she carries very much. I think it's quite simple. I think it's a lipstick and a bit of powder. Mm. But she's always had these same bags designed by Lorna. And she's carried the same style and the same, you know, the, the look bag. And it, it comes in different colors. It's very, very 
very elegant. But, the, but well, apparently, she puts where it's it placed. down, it signals. You know, it signals if she puts it down, she's kind of ready. You know, for the next move. So it has a sort of it has a significance. I suppose she needs a sign. Is this the first time we're hearing about this? Though, <laughs> I, you I know. Don't, I don't know. I think. I mean, I've sort of known about it for oh, a yeah. while, but I think it's just that it, we're sort of more aware of it now. But if right. you think about it, she must need some sort of signal to go. You know what? Because she can't really put up her hand and go. You know what? I'm done with dinner. So we have to remember the queen is an amazing age. The fact that she does these long days. What is she? Ninety-two. Yes. Mm. It's pr she's pretty amazing lady. And dinner was at nine o'clock last night. I know. What? <laughs> the I jet lag. Go to dinner. Dinner. I thought about the jet lag for Trump and the queen. It was a late night. It was but amazing. She talked about the secret to her longevity has also been a little nip of scotch <laughs> and you know then a glass Good of wine her. and a little sherry. Good for her. All yeah. in a day. Yes, it's a very British little tradition that to have a little nip of something, a little sundowner drink, and I just think she's. She's just an amazing lady. Emma, how do you know so much about the royal family? So my father was a, was a British film director, and the royal family have always been very mad and passionate about movies. And my father ran Pinewood Studios in Elstree in his lifetime. And the royal family used to do visits to the film set and the royal premieres. So I was always the one presenting the flowers. And they became oh. friends. My father had a really amazing friendship with Princess Margaret, the Queen Mother. And we used to go for Sunday lunch wow. at wow. Windsor Castle. So and I have done those sort of Sort of meals, not oh, quite yeah. to that level of the banquet last night, but right. I have been to more casual, actually, informal, and they have great sense of humor. The royal family. Oh, There's a lot of on the crown. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but it's you're all like the crown. Dear friends with Elton John. I am right? indeed. Yes, As he's on embarking on oh. his world tour, his final goodbye. I know, which I went to see at Madison Square Park. He's an old family friend. Again, he was our neighbor when we were growing up before he, when he was Reg Dwight. So he, I've known him literally from the beginning. I love the movie, oh. by the way. Oh, so, so listen, Emma, can you hang around a little bit? We'll, I can hang around. We're going to wait like. for uh, Theresa May and Fantastic. the president to uh, give a little speech, and maybe uh, you can give us some insight. Of course. All right, we'll be right back with more of Good Day New York. We're going to take that live. All right.